Well, Diego, congratulations. I think everyone from Eddie Hearn on down wanted to see something spectacular from you in this fight. You delivered maybe your most spectacular knockout. How do you feel about that performance? Uh, I feel great, man. You know, Selecki, hell of a fighter. Uh, he came to fight, he came to win, but, you know, like I said, he ain't ran into no one like me before, so this is what it is, man. DP show, this is what I do. I don't think we saw you land a body shot, maybe nothing, right up until that last point. Were you looking for that body shot on that finishing punch? Uh, yeah, for sure, man. You know, uh, early in the rounds, it was a little hard for me to go to the body. Like I said, he's a great fighter. Uh, he was taking it away from me, but, you know, I, I tried not to show him that I was trying to look for that, you know, so that when I did, he didn't expect it. And that's exactly what happened, you know, the body shot, and that's all she wrote. When you land a punch like that, do you know right away that it's over? Uh, yeah, honestly, like, I didn't even land it that hard, so I didn't think it was going to be over, but when I saw him fall, and, and I could tell he wasn't getting up, so yeah, that was it. Sulecki is the most experienced opponent you faced up until this point. What was he showing you early on? What did you have to try to figure out? Uh, you know, he was just a strong fighter, you know, he was a good fighter, uh, he was coming forward, but uh, like I said, you know, I feel like my skills with my hard work combined, you know, it, it makes for, for a great fighter, and that's what I am, a great fighter. You, know, you started to land that right hand, really from the second or third round on. Could you feel your power starting to make an impact? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. You know, I could tell he was feeling my punches. I, I, I felt him slowing down a little bit, like that fourth, fifth round. So, uh, yeah, I know he was feeling my punches, and uh, like I said, you know, I, I, I told you guys I was going to deliver that knockout, and, and here it is. You guys, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You protect your spot as the number one contender for that WBO super middleweight title. That belt currently owned by Canelo Alvarez. He's fighting on the 14th against Edgar Berlanga. If it's not Canelo, what do you want to do next? Uh, anyone in the top 10. You know, I, Eddie, at, uh, Matt Trim brought a few names to the table. I said yes to all of them. You know, I never back down from any fight. So whoever Eddie lines up next, I'll be ready. You know, you are the mandatory for that belt that Canelo owns. If that opportunity is presented to you at some point, do you feel right now you're ready for it? Definitely. You know, like I said, I don't back down from any challenge. Let's get it on. And then, you know, Eddie Hearn is right here, so, you know, maybe he could tell you when, I, when I'm going to get that shot. Well, you're a kid from South Central, now headlining again for the second time here in the Los Angeles area. What did it mean to you to fight in front of your hometown fans again? Oh, man, yo, this is a dream come true for me. You know, as a little kid, this is what I dreamed of. And to be living it right now is amazing, man. I just can't, I can't put into words how I feel, man. Thank you, everyone who came out to support. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I'm here to tell you guys there's, there's, there's a long way to go, man. Team Pacheco is here to stay. Let's get it. Congratulations, Diego. Thank you. Eddie, we'll turn to you. You wanted something big there. You got it. What'd you think of what you saw? Spectacular performance, a coming of age performance from a real superstar in the making. You know, he's 23 years old, once again, you know, the city showed out for him. He's a real good young kid with a great heart. And Los Angeles is behind him. He's number one in the world. The world title shot's coming, and it's going to come very soon. All right, Canelo does have that belt, and we all know Canelo's got his eyes on bigger opportunities, both against Berlanga and moving forward. If it's not Canelo, who would you like to see Pacheco in with? Chris, you, you talk about a big opportunity. By the time the mandatory shot comes round against Canelo Alvarez or Edgar Berlanga, Diego Pacheco against either of those guys is going to be a massive fight. He is going to be the mandatory to the winner of Canelo Alvarez against Edgar Belanga. But we need another fight. We need a fight in between. The fight I would love to make is Diego Pacheco against Jaime Munguia. I think that is a brilliant, brilliant fight. I think that's a great fight. I believe we win that fight all day long. When you jump up and fight Canelo Alvarez, it's the big step. But you know, with, with Jose Benavidez and the team behind him, the camp's perfect. He's 23. This is the future of the division. We're going to get it right. And Billy, Munguia, Bazinian, all of those guys. And then when the mandatory gets called, we're taking it. You heard the crowd react just now to the idea of Munguia. He's got business to take care of on the 20th against Eric Bazinian. Do you think that's a makeable fight? Listen, for in Los Angeles, California, Diego Pacheco against Jaime Munguia is a massive fight. You know, we, we go from here to the Staples Center, that sells out the Staples Center in double quick time. Let's make it happen. You know, when Jose says they're ready to roll the dice, we're ready. But like I said, he's going to be called as mandatory to the champion, which is Canelo Alvarez at the moment. It's gonna happen. We gotta be ready when that comes. And that kind of fight's gonna prepare us to what destiny presents for Diego Pacheco, which is bringing a world championship back to Los Angeles. Appreciate it, Eddie. Great performance, Diego. Guys. Gabe.